in three, two, one, charge! Everybody showing signs of life as the autonomous period begins. Three blue robots into the courtyard, two of them colliding, the High Desert Droids and Mean Machine. 4911, the Cyber Knights headed in the vicinity of the Blue Tower, and they're going to try to put a boulder in, perhaps. They find the low goal in Autonomous. That's worth five, and the Red Alliance gets a 35-30 to 30 advantage. Everybody in their opposing courtyards to start this match. 2907 looks for the low goal, cannot connect. 3786, same problem. Mean Machine goes up top, but too high. Nope. No more goals since the start of the teleoperated period, and now 4205 puts the first one in. A low goal for blue. 4911 falls with a low goal for red, and 44 to 39 now your Red Alliance lead. Five of our six robots in the vicinity of the neutral zone. Lion Robotics across the blue outer works, heading for the tower for a low goal. High Desert Droids put one in the low goal for red. Mean Machine goes up and no good again. They'll head back to the neutral zone and try to collect another boulder. Under 90 seconds to go, and it's an eight-point lead for Red, 61 to 53. Lion Robotics and the Chargers both looking for the logo on the blue side. They find it. No, the Chargers in and out. They'll have to try that again. Meanwhile, all three blue robots in the neutral zone. Looks like 4205, the RoboCubs looking for a boulder. They've got one now. Mean Machine through the Sally Port. They shoot too high yet again, and the RoboCubs are going to see if they can get over the ramparts. Be very careful of the boulder right in front of them there. 60 seconds now remaining, and it is 72 to 58 in favor of Red. The Red Alliance has breached the Outer Works. Blue Alliance, one more crossing needed. RoboCubs trying to take care of that with the Ramparts, but they can't seem to make it through. Lead Machine up and no good again. 49-11 finds the logo for Red. That puts the Blue Tower into a weakened state and brings us under 40 seconds remaining with a 19-point Red Alliance advantage. 24-71, finally up and good. Five points on the board for Blue, 84 to 75 now your tally, as the Cyber Knights find the logo again for Red. And everybody gonna see what they can do the rest of the way. You heard that fanfare, under 30 seconds to go, now under 20. Chargers got themselves hung up on the boat, but the Alliance partner's over to help them out of the way, and that Red Alliance gonna head towards the tower and try to surround it. You see the red flag going down indicating the blue, t the red tower has been weakened as well, and Mean Machine gets themselves up into the air, both towers surrounded. This could be a very big finish. Our referees will tally up the final scores and we'll let you know who takes home the two big, big ranking points right after this. All, both towers able to be surrounded, but it is the scale by the Blue Alliance that makes the difference. They take home the victory, 107 to 96. Four ranking points collected by Blue. Red gets the breach, but not the capture. Red Alliance not able to get the Blue Tower all the way down to zero. Check that, it is one Red Robot not given a challenge, and so the High Desert Troys are your new number one seed as we move into match number 20.